is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. Keep it right here for live coverage on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And we're getting down to the wire in the UEFA Champions League. Tonight, the first leg of the semi-final coming right up. It is FC Copenhagen facing Manchester City. Well, what a moment for both these teams. Just one step away from the final. But it's the visitors and their fans that are expecting to get through to the big day. But this is by no means an easy game for them, as their host can be really dangerous if they play at their best. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Rodri plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the park. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. It's a promising City move. De Bruyne. Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne. Holding it up, waiting for support to arrive. And drawing it back. Oh, might be. And there it is! The first goal in the semi-final. A huge moment. Extraordinary scenes. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Well, just look at his reaction. That could prove to be a massive goal for his team. So underway again here. 1-0 the score. Diogo Gonzalez, Rasmus Falk. Well, it clearly was deflected, so it will be their throw in. Kevin Dix, Rasmus Falk Jensen on the ball. Le Rager. Bernardo Silva. Gvardiol. De Bruyne. And teammates to play it to. Pass and move, pass and move. Their opponents really struggling to get a look in. Real chance. And a goal it is for Manchester City. They are the team on course for victory. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Diogo Gonzalez. Moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Rasmus Falk. And the Hager has it. And unable to keep possession. De Bruyne. Silva. Well, strong play here. 
very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. And the counter-attack is on, options available. El Yunusi. Erling Haaland. On to Silva. Bernardo Silva. Possession lost, intercepted, and the ball with De Bruyne, and he's making progress. The danger not over. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Good example of pressing without the ball. Elianusi, and the Hager has it. Rasmus Falk. Good work from City to win back the ball. Now that ball looks promising. Plenty of support here. Really important tackle. Elianusi. with Gonzalves did well to win the ball back and just one minute of time added on for stoppages Diogo Gonzalves and the whistle is sounded for half time in this game Well, many will regard him as the complete midfield player, Kevin De Bruyne. And how do you shackle him? It's well nigh impossible, Stuart. Well, what a display from him. Lots of touches, some great passes and an assist. He's been absolutely brilliant today. And off and running again, it really was spellbinding what we saw from City in the first half. So let's see how the second 45 plays out. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. And defensive play to be applauded. This is better, but they need to make the pressure count now. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva. Opportunity. And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. in a useful looking position but will there be an end product well disappointing end to the move Kevin Dix Diogo Gonzalez Victor Klaasso and City get the throw in and time for the change now Phil Foden now. Rodri. De Bruyne. Wonderful chance. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Le Rager. 
Denis Vavro. Diogo Gonzalez. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Pulls it back. And this would reduce the deficit. Oh, he wasn't necessarily favourite to win that challenge. And they need to get tighter here. Must score! That is how to keep it out of the net. Counter-attacking chance. And a strong tackle. Jordan Larson. Showing patience as they look for a way back into this. Could reduce the deficit. And he does! There was hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Foden. Foden. De Bruyne. Foden. Now Walker. Have no interest in losing possession. Very clear who got the last touch. So a corner coming up. in by De Bruyne well there was impending danger but good defending can he do it and did just enough defensively another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory Let's see about the delivery. Could still be dangerous. And a very good challenge. Well, these fans are right behind the team here. Can they get the equaliser, though? Elianusi. That's a good pass. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Foden. De Bruyne now. Phil Foden. And cutting it out. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. determined defending well adding up all the stoppages we will have two extra minutes through ball from De Bruyne and still looking to get the shot off he cuts it back and defending as a unit And there goes the final whistle. Manchester City will carry a lead with them into the second leg of this tie. Yeah, that was a tight game. And I think they just about deserve their lead. But it's a slender one. And they'll certainly need to defend well in the second leg if they're to reach the final. Well, assessing what we saw from Phil Foden in this game, plenty to like. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.